Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo speaks out about the horrific rape and murder of a 12-year-old girl by two undocumented immigrants, placing the blame on former President Donald Trump and congressional Republicans for the immigration policies she believes contributed to this tragedy. Me, it hurts even more that they're being used as pawns in this fight over immigration that doesn't even exist because Biden and McConnell agree. It's just that Trump won't let them move it forward. All due respect, Judge, you said this issue shouldn't be politicized, but by pointing the finger at former President Trump and Republicans in Congress, aren't you politicizing it? Um, I think I answered the I think I answered the question. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's this is about Jocelyn. This is about her family. And uh, if we if we want to Judge, as I said, talk about question. immigration, you then didn't answer the question. Are you then, politicizing this? By pointing the finger at Republicans and saying it's their fault, not the fault of the Biden administration that lifted the, the Remain in Mexico policies. Again, the Biden administration reached an agreement with Leader McConnell to address this, but this is not about immigration. I'm not going to feed into that. Personal accountability and duties are paramount. Yet pointing fingers at Donald Trump and congressional Republicans can be perceived as an evasion of the responsibilities held by local and federal authorities to rigorously enforce immigration laws. Our focus must be on bringing the perpetrators to justice and honoring Jocelyn Nungare's memory, while also addressing broader systemic issues. Ensuring law and order is crucial. The failure to enforce immigration laws and secure borders has led to such devastating incidents. To prevent future tragedies, we need stricter immigration policies and more effective enforcement. Lena Hidalgo's comments might be seen as politicizing a tragic event, accusing others of similar tactics. The public may view this as hypocritical and politically driven. There will be a strong call for political leaders to prioritize real solutions over political maneuvering.